I'll speak on uh, career choices and civil services. Both in, uh, I gave two interviews, both my interviews, uh, they kind of dwell quite a bit on why I wanted to join civil services. So beyond a point, it kind of gets very frustrating. <laughs> but I think it's very important, uh, in terms, even preparation, I'll speak from the perspective of preparation. So the reason uh, for giving you, if you if had asked me at class 12 level, what to do, I would have said UPSC. After my fourth year, if you had asked me, I would have said UPSC. But the, differences, uh, the difference was in the reason why I wanted to join. And I think it's very important that you spend whatever time you have left here in college is to figure out what you want to do in life after, you know, once you get out of here. And that reason has to be very, that has reason, that reason should have the ability to sustain itself. Because this preparation is uh, kind of long, it gets kind of long and tedious, and this was my third attempt. Uh, so, that sort of a long and tedious uh, thing, you have to have a motivation to latch on to it. You, you need to have something to inspire you continuously, even after fail attempt, after fail attempt. So, uh, I, I'd ask every one of you, uh, you've listened to some, uh, an excellent overview of the entire services. Uh, we have uh, eminent, eminent guests speak on uh, all the four, mayors, four services, IFS, IS, IPS, IRS. And, uh, you know, but you have to figure out your reasons on your own. Uh, but whatever reason you figure out, uh, make sure that it's very powerful and uh, that it has the ability to sustain. Uh, other than that, I'll speak on the preparation part. Uh, everybody will ask me how many I'll handle all of that later on once the... I don't want to bore our guests with that. So, uh, I'll see you soon after, uh, after a few minutes, after the panel discussion. Uh, meanwhile, we'll have the Q&A. Uh, for some aspects, uh, I'm, uh, there are two main categories of people that I'm uh, dealing with here. Uh, one that I will be focusing on is the first, second and third year. One, look, who are looking to give the exam in, you know, at least in a two-year frame or a three-year frame. Uh, the other category which I think will be a smaller one is the fourth years who are hoping to give the exam within the next year or so, uh, uh, which would be what, next 2015 uh, prelims. Uh, so the basic, uh, how many first years are there? Just a show of hands. Uh, second years? Alright, third years? Okay, uh, fourth years? Fifth years, yes, sorry, sorry, yeah, fifth years and, uh, okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, uh, for the general uh, uh, pattern, the, the awareness, uh, uh, I'll just cover everything. So, the pattern of the exam for the civil services is, uh, it's a three-tier exam. Uh, the first round is, so, uh, the first level is the uh, prelims uh, part, where there are two papers. The general studies paper, which includes uh, questions on uh, politics, economy, geography, uh, environment, ecology and so on. But the questions are mostly of uh, the static kind. They are not that you should be good at well, decent at maths, you should be able to do tender physics, uh, a, a basic English comprehension and uh, verbal ability. Uh, CSAT paper is usually very easy to ace for uh, IIT students, so I don't think, and Usme Madhav, you can score very high marks, so you don't have to go for doing Andolan anywhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, prelims, uh, the general studies paper, uh, the, the portion uh, has a very major overlap with the main syllabus. So the second uh, round, so the first round is happening this year in August. August on August 24th, prelims is happening. Uh, the mains will happen in December, December 15th I think and that will be <coughs> for five days. So the mains pattern is again uh, subjective. Uh, there are uh, seven papers whose scores are counted. General studies there are four, pa four papers. Uh, there, is, there is one optional of which there are two papers. There is one essay paper. Uh, beyond that, there are two qualifying papers, uh, English and one regional language that you are comfortable with. Uh, uh, and then uh, and the scores for each of the papers are uh, 250, 250 for all of them except essay, I think, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> uh, after the mains, the results come out in March, uh, after which you get around, after and after that, around 20 days or 25 days, the interviews start. The interview go on for three months. So it's a very long process. There are around 3,000 candidates selected for the interview round. Uh, and after the interviews are done, the results come out somewhere around in June. Uh, if you do not make it that year, then the whole grind starts again. So you have to uh, uh, put whatever disappointment is there and then you have to start again for the whole cycle. So the cycle is very tedious. It takes a year long for the effort to fructify and 
suddenly there is the uh, uh, you know the rank list and then you are either in or out or you are getting a rank bad rank or not a small bit about myself to give the background i uh, did my uh, btech from computer science and engineering in 2000 i passed out in 2010 uh, since then i was mostly preparing for the civil services this was my third attempt uh, my first attempt in 2011 second year in my second attempt i had got a rank of 648 which was uh, not what i was looking forward to so i gave that attempt again i got rank 9 this year um, my optionals earlier on there were two optionals four papers each uh, sorry two options two papers each so I had taken public administration and uh, physics uh, in 2013 when the new pattern came in and there was just one optional, I took physics as an optional. That being said, uh, the optional, there was a question raised on how to choose options, I will come to that as well. Uh, the way I have structured this is, uh, let's see what I should yeah. Alright, uh, so uh, to begin with, uh, 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 any questions till now? Uh, I'll just break in the middle for some time for if there are any questions and you know what till based on whatever I've spoken to now. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's deal with the optional thing first. Then, uh, how to choose an optional? That's a very uh, pertinent question. Uh, earlier on, there was at least uh, three or four years back when I was basic starting preparation. There was a general there was a whole lot of uh, issue about taking a science optional or not, taking a humanities optional. The general trend was for an IIT graduate is to take one discipline from the technical background and one discipline from the humanities background. Now, of course, that question is thrown out of the window. Uh, so when you are choosing optionals, there are a couple of things uh, that you should, that you have to consider. The one, the first thing is something called, uh, what is a scoring optional? So there is a uh, uh, sentiment left over from around three or four years back that there are particular uh, papers uh, such as public administration, psychology, geography, in which you get decent marks with a decent amount of effort, right? Because there, because people thought ki there is no extremes in the marks that you get. So you had a fair chance of landing in a 30, 40 marks bat. So some people try, wanted to have that sort of predictability in their score, so they went for that, even from IIT. Uh, there was also a tendency among people to believe that uh, technical background or yeah, technical subjects as a physics or whatever, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, ho gaya, in some way marks nahi aate. Uh, based on uh, my personal experience, and I have obviously interacted, I was mostly in Rajendra Nagar during those three years. So I know, I have talked to a lot of people, I have talked to people from different backgrounds. And uh, this is mostly a myth. Ki, that you can, not, not a myth that there are particular scoring options and non-scoring options. The point is that it's entirely unpredictable to say that this option is good this option is good this option is bad. The one thing that you have to keep in mind when you are preparing is that in this, this exam is very unpredictable. Unpredictable like you have not seen, it's not like JE. JE is like that if you are giving test series, there is something wrong with it. Then you sit for the exam and after the, you come out of the exam hall, and then you see, uh, and then you have a feeling where you will land. You will think I've, I've been the top 100, I'll, talk, I'll be the top 1000, 5000, whatever. You have a fair estimate whether you will get in or not. Uh, I'm sure most of you will agree to that. There's some sort of predictability because there are right answers, there are wrong answers. In UPSC, there is nothing like it. Absolutely nothing. Uh, last year I got ranked 648, this year I got ranked 9. It has little, there were different major changes that I made in my strategy. But it wasn't like I suddenly amassed a lot of knowledge over the past year, which I had not read, you know, previously. So it's a very uh, the predictability is very low. So there is and a major source of that unpredictability is the optional, because you know don't know if your optional will do good that year, do bad that year. In 2012, public administration, which was considered to be a very good optional, a very good optional, like where people got decent mark out of 600, they got uh, 300, 340 fairly easily. It was absolutely butchered. Butchered like there was a mass exodus after that year. 2012 ke baad, the mass that killed it. Very and it wasn't like ki, jo likh rahe the answer unke quality mein koi kharabi hai. It's just that something happened. This year, for example, uh, law, economics, and you know uh, physics has done decently well. So, but it's a very it's a very tricky system. There is no predictability in that. So do not go with uh, preset notions ki agar main psychology lunga ya fir anthropology lunga to I'll get good marks. Okay. Choosing an optional will should be based on a couple of factors. The first thing is interest. You are when you enter this game, you have uh, no matter how confident you are, there is no guarantee that you will make it in the first attempt or the second attempt or the third attempt. 
it's a very it depends you know it's a very uh, uh, difficult it's very difficult to predict like uh, and this is one of the major lessons that i learned because i came into jai i was the kholu in this institute so i thought ki kya hai upsc hai to ho jayega theek hai kisi tarah but it didn't it, it like uh, it, it took me a lot of effort took me a lot, it it made me realize ki there are things that are not in your control and you have to account and you don't have to worry about that so choose an optional based on the fact that you have to sustain interest in that for 2 years at least if you make it in first term well and good but you do not want to change your subject midway aisa nahi hoga ki first palette mein pavard diya us saal pavard kharab ho gaya to agle saal suna ke are is psychology acha hua tha chalo psychology pad lete hain then you give that that year pavard does well for psychology is ruined and then you move on to some other subject don't do that if you pick a subject pick a subject for your interest in that and pick a and pick a subject for certainty like you will continue with this for uh, you know the next two years i had a, a decent amount of time to choose my options so i actually read three books of psychology to decide whether i wanted to take psychology or not uh, but i i read the, those books through and through i liked it but i realized ki it it didn't feel natural to me right uh, for a uh, for a student uh, especially from an it background humanities there is a very there is an innate difficulty in relating to writing like a humanities student there is a completely different perspective humanities wale thoda holistic sa likhte hain they write you know in a, a with a big picture in mind hamara kya hota hai ki we break down the entire question into components then we answer each component and we hope ki it's a logical consequence so it should obviously follow so there is a diff- difference in mindset it's also true it's it's not a disadvantage it's it's, it's also advantages in the gs paper as i'll explain later but it's it's just something that we are trained to do we are trained to you know think in sequence and see that things are up. so uh, your uh, your comfort level should be very high uh, if you if you choose public administration or psychology anything you do your comfort level should be high and you should be able to sustain your interest for at least you know plan for 2 years at least um, the second thing is uh, availability of material this is kind of crucial because uh, especially for students who are planning to pre- start preparation here itself Uh, is because uh, uh, if they, if you choose something very obscure like english literature or kannada uh, uh, literature the, there is certainly a dearth of material in the market um uh, yeah, so in that sense like, let's say pavard or uh, uh, geography are much more you know uh, in demand subjects because there is a lot of material access available uh, uh, science subjects in uh, comparatively it's not uh, that popular very few students take it and now with just one optional or come students like it so uh, so so that is a very relevant factor and you should be sure ki aisa uh, isme guidance mil sakta hai if there is a particular teacher that you, you can talk to continuously uh, that's very good so availability of material is another comfort level and you know sustainability of interest is another uh, uh, i i i think uh, but do not uh, choose an option on the basis ki is saal isme acche number aaye hain to isliye let me take this But, uh, especially for those who have time spend a lot of time deciding your option take a month take two months read us you know a representative book from that optional and then decide uh, because that will because it's it's very crucial so optional uh, the choice has to be you know it has to be meticulously done for now shortlist three options that you might be willing to take read the syllabus read the questions that appear in that syllabus uh, then you know that shortlist two on those two by two representative books uh, especially if they are humanities by two representative books read through them see uh, and then try to correlate with the question banks that you see and on the basis of that after two months after proper two months of you know reading that subject then decide what your option should be it's a long process but i'm uh, i assure you it's going to be worth uh, you do not want to be stuck with a bad option for your attention right uh, so this is what i have to speak about options any questions on about this yeah is there any type of normalization in grading that science subjects okay uh, so normalization is another thing that hangs very heavy on every aspirant's mind uh, to that answer nobody knows there is a rationalization at work upsc is very not transparent about how it operates uh, nobody has a clue basically so this is just one of those things that you have to like get it out of your head uh, in physics for example i'll say i'll say uh, uh, it's not like if you uh, we used to the fact that if it's a 10 marker question you write all the steps you get the right answer you should expect an out of 10 never happens uh, there is an automatic rationalization within that question itself within the 10 marks if you have written beautifully drawn every diagram beautifully which is not possible when that with the time constraints and you have written everything and it's it's the best answer the examiner has ever seen in his life then he will give you 8 marks 
Uh, if you, uh, eight is even probably a bit higher on the higher side because they are cutting marks like crazy in mains, uh, at least in this attempt. So, uh, uh, if you just get the answer somehow, you know, but as you can see, there are three numbers. Okay, so five numbers will get, and they, then they grade, grade you between that. Uh, I'll come to the answer writing part later. But this is the first rationalization step. It's not like if you attempt 500 out of 500, you will get 500. No, uh, I attempted 500. I was, uh, let's say, in paper two uh, this year in physics, I had uh, given a good attempt of. Uh, I, I completed the whole paper 250. I, 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 had, I was reasonably sure that 250 marks I had written. I got 109. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, so it's, uh, that, that, that was my best paper of the year, but you know, that kind of much. Sorry, no, 139. So, uh, I was basically estimating that by half cut, 125. 125 is, was, in the previous years, 125 was the average mass. Half of it is a decent score. Uh, if you write exceptionally well, you get something higher than that. But this year, even that half has been lowered. So, rationalization, do not worry about it. Do not worry about how the inter-subject thing is done. UPSC has never told anyone what it does. What, what you have to focus on, especially if your subject is uh, a bit obscure, if, if not many people take it, you have to make sure that your answer script shines through. If there is a stack of 20 papers, the examiner, if he opens the first three pages, and he should be like, what am I seeing here? And in a good sense, not in like, kya hai? So, I'll come to the answer writing point, but that is, don't worry about the rationalization. That should be the focus. You have to be the best among the option that you have taken. Among the best, alright? Uh, the answer writing part I'll come to. Rationalization, nobody has a clue, don't worry about it.